Not only that, folks, but we have a ton of information about the Ford Stimulus check that I want you to know. Be sure to stay tuned for this video. It has just been announced that many Americans could see and receive a $1,200 stimulus check every month until the crisis ends. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has revealed that President Biden will be signing an executive order that will cancel all student loan debt very soon. So here's some breaking news. There is a new financial initiative for low-income mothers in New York City that aims to determine whether regular payments would have a considerable effect in alleviating poverty in some of the most deprived areas of the country. This is called the Bridge Project, and it provides hundreds of mothers given a monthly payment of either $500 or $1,000 for the first three years of child's life under a new guaranteed income program. The initiative began in July 2021 with the first group of 100 mothers admitted to the program. Now, the Bridge Project offers support for low-income families, who with an average household income of $14,000 fall below the poverty line. Of the 600 women now involved in the study, 70% have less than $100 in the savings. Guaranteed income programs have continued to gain support, especially during this time. A bill proposed by Democrats in Congress would send monthly payments or, t or guaranteed income payments of up to $1,200 and $600 for children following pilot programs across the country. The proposal introduced by Omar is designed to build 21st century economy that is reflective of Americans' everyday needs. Representative Elon Omar says that the crisis has laid bare these inequalities and things must be met. Now, the bill would establish new office guaranteed income programs in the Treasury Department to oversee the payments, which would go to U.S. residents, which would go to U.S. residents ages 18 and older. In order to be eligible for the full monthly payment, single taxpayers, single taxpayers would need a just a gross income of $75,000 or less and a hunch for the grand or less for married couples filing jointly. Payments will be gradually scaled down at a rate of $5 per every 100 over those income levels. Chick Schumer has just announced that President Biden and his senior advisors are warming up to the idea of forgiving student debt, insisting they are closer to pulling the trigger than ever before. Schumer has repeatedly called for canceling up to $50,000 in student debt per borrower. Per borrower. Predicted that's, what, predicted that's where the president and his administration will eventually land. Schumer said, I've talked personally to the president on this issue a whole bunch of times. I've told him that this is more important than anything else they can do on his own. Now, the Department of Education announced last week that it will extend the pause on federal student loan payments, interest, and collections through August. Schumer says that doesn't go far enough and that Biden is getting closer to agreeing with him. Schumer told reporters, don't get me wrong, the pause is a good thing, but it's not enough. He argued that families will face an average monthly student debt payment of $393 when the pause is lifted. Schumer said that there is so much money in the country, and nobody, and how does anybody live knowing every month they gotta pay $400? The pause has stopped that, but make no mistake about it, this pause isn't going to go forever. Schumer also noted that he has weighed hard with President Biden about the importance of canceling student, student debt. Schumer signaled he would support canceling even more than $50,000 of student debt. Schumer said, we want our young people to realize that they can have a good future. One of the best, very best, top of the list ways to do that is by canceling student debt. Folks, there is a ton of information about the Ford Stimulus check that I want you to know. Be sure to continue watching this video because you definitely don't want to miss out on this. A one-time check for the more than 64 million Social Security beneficiaries would come with a price tag of nearly $90 billion. Now, there are other measures that could help senior citizens as well. Some Democratic representatives have reintroduced a bill called the Social Security 2100 Act. If this were to pass, Social Security benefits would get a boost and implement a new indexing system to more accurately, do, uh, to more accurately account for inflation. The proposal would also raise thresholds above which recipients' income, income including Social Security is taxed. According to Representative John Larson, the bill improves the annual COLA formula to better reflect the cost incurred by seniors through adopting a CPIE formula. He said in a statement the provision will help seniors who spend a greater portion of their income on health care and other necessities. Improved inflation protection will especially help older retirees and widows who are more likely to rely on Social Security benefits as they age. I believe it's a good decision for President Biden to send out more stimulus checks this year. If you guys agree, tell me in the comments down below. So there are new changes from the federal government, everybody, and it's just been passed. The IRS has announced that many, that many Americans will have to pay back the $1,400 third stimulus check that they received last year. And that is some crazy news, everybody. Given the speed with which the IRS managed to get stimulus payments into people's bank accounts over the past two years, it should come as no surprise that some mistakes were made. It may have been as simple as a stimulus payment being sent to someone who earned too much money to be eligible.
whatever issue may be, you might receive a notice from the IRS if you fall into one of the following categories. So everybody, each of the three stimulus checks carried a strict income threshold. Once a person hit that threshold, their stimulus payment was phased out. Out of the millions of stimulus checks sent in 2020 and 2021, it was found that the checks were distributed to people whose income exceeded eligibility. So if you earned too much money to qualify for a stimulus check last year, you may have to pay a bank. You may have to prepay, you may have to repay back some stimulus money. Also, if you lived in the United States for years, paid income taxes, but are not a citizen, it's possible the IRS will discover the mistake and request a refund. So many checks have been sent, it's possible for the, that, is, that a percentage of individuals received, them, received more than one payment for the same round. If you were eligible for the stimulus funds, but received more than one check during the first, second, or third round, it's important to note that the IRS may ask you to return these extra funds. But everybody, don't worry if you are unsure if you need to pay back the IRS. If the IRS spots a problem, they will just send you a letter. And according to the IRS, everybody, the average tax refund is noticeably higher this year. Now, of the 50, now of the 53 million individual tax returns, tax returns that the IRS processed through March 5th, it issued refunds for almost 38 million. And now the average size of the refund this year is around $3,400. That's a 13.7% increase from the average. $3,000 or $2,990 refund issued at the same point last year. But everybody, it's important to remind the numbers may not predict where refund amounts may end up. By early 2021 of December, the average refund was around $2,800. The IRS is now expecting more than 160 million individual tax returns this year. That means the tax agency has processed around one-third of all the returns and is expecting the 2022 filing season collect previous federal stimulus checks. And according to Yahoo News, money has been paid out to those within that category who earned less than $26,000 in 2020. The program is being expanded in 2022. With that, <laughs> I was just about to walk away here. Carlos. Um, yes. With that, um, I'm, it is my distinct honor to introduce uh, Senator Schumer, who was a champion in making sure that we preserve the child tax credit. Uh, in the Senate, it is not an easy fight, and we so deeply appreciate uh, you being able to take this. Also, Indiana residents may qualify for extra cash in 2020, too. And Marco reported that the Indiana state government posted a higher surplus last year. And the government wants to provide a tax refund worth about $125. And the good news for Florida school teachers this year, according to Yahoo News, they may receive a stimulus payment this year of up to $1,000. According to Ron DeSantis, approximately 177,000 teachers are set to receive this payment. So folks, do you support the fourth stimulus check from President Biden? Tell me in the comments below. Look like they could, they really could and did play ball. And the other one looks like he could bomb you. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a tough group, but a good group. Look, I want to thank you uh, and your staff for welcoming us to town. It's a one-stop shop connection for people in this county uh, to 